Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 7 of The Road to 2.0. Now, today I'm bringing you some Kill Confirmed on Outpost. And for those of you guys that know me, Kill Confirmed, I love it. That's all I really play, even though I rage a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. If you're ever in a party with me, you'll notice I'll just be like, What the fuck is this, man? Fix your fucking spawns! That's not cool! It's not good! God damn it! I'll be like that most of the time. But, for the most part, this is where my most of my gameplay comes from. Um... I'm very streaky lately because of just faggots in the lobby and all that. And uh, they'll be like, oh, what's up? You're just camping a corner with Assassin. Oh, that's cool. Now, granted, I use Assassin, but I don't really camp, I don't think. I don't like to think of myself as a camper. But I go 46 and 5 today with the MK14. And honestly, I just started using this, and it is freaking amazing. I love it so much. Um, now, granted, it's a... Um, semi-auto so you it's only single shot so you, but then again that's just at the same time showing like hey what's up I'm not a noob using a freaking fully auto gun just like going whoa what's up I'm just gonna spray you down you're dead I uh -huh, triple kill no that's not me um but I it, it's just it takes skill to use I think because you need to be accurate with it if you are accurate with it you're gonna get massive amounts of kills um, like the red dot sight is honestly probably the perfect attachment for it um, because just because you do literally it's just so accurate if you if you know how to shoot and like at least get close to your target you're gonna get either hit markers or a two-shot kill no matter what and usually it's a one-shot kill to the head and that's that's something that a lot of guns lack like this is a very overpowered gun in my opinion but then again at the same time it takes skill to use so like it's not really overpowered quote unquote um, I don't know, I just, I really like the MK, but that's kind of not what I am want to talk to you about, I don't really give a damn about the, the gameplay as of now, because, um, I'm just, I'm just, this is just the little filler, the background, uh, so this isn't really what you're all supposed to be looking at, but you can watch it if you, if you guys thoroughly enjoy it, um, but what I want to talk to you today about, is I've, I've been getting a lot of questions on, like, what I've, like, is not really started me on YouTube but then I guess it's a little background history of YouTube and then YouTube um, and then I also want to talk about adversity and how to overcome it on YouTube um, because that's another thing that people are having problems with is they're getting they're getting faced with a bunch of challenges and they don't know how to deal with it on YouTube so I'm gonna hit that topic as well but first I'm gonna start with my history just because of uh it was requested by a few people um, so shout out to them for giving me a, a commentary uh, topic to talk about and Basically, I started back in, oh boy, I kind of want to say early 2010, um, I made my channel, probably, no, it was probably 2009 that I made my first channel, um, and I made that just for, like, watching videos and liking and subscribing and commenting and stuff, and there's, like, really nothing that I, um, nothing really that intrigued me to make videos or anything. Um, and it was really, really about when Black Ops came up that I, that I started uploading stuff, because then that introduced the whole theater system. I really was a complete noob, I didn't really know what to do YouTube-wise, like, how do I capture my gameplay and put it on the internet, eh? I, I was just like, wait, what? You can do that? And, so I was a complete noob at the time. Um, so, like, the theater, the theater mode for Black Ops just introduced this whole, um, this whole system in which you could save a lot of money and still get your name out there, but on YouTube, um, with the theater system. Now, granted, it was, you could only upload 30 seconds at a time for clips. It's still better than nothing. I mean, would you rather not put anything up at all or a 30 second clip that could get you some publicity? Now, that started really the whole, the whole YouTube fascination that I had. Um, now, it didn't really feed it that much, and I didn't really become more involved in the community until. Um, I want to say like six months after Black Ops came out. Um, and when Black Ops came out, I was just like, "Oh, this is really cool. I kind of want to do this more." So I got a buddy of mine who was selling his Dazzle uh, capture card, and I got that off of him. So that's what started it all. If you go back and look at any of my videos on Jables 1195, or even the first few videos on this channel, it was with, with my Dazzle, and it was just, oh my god, awful, awful quality. Um, 
Now, granted, it's a very nice starting point for anybody that doesn't want to spend a lot of money because they're not sure if they want to do it or, like, what they want to specifically do on YouTube. Um, it's a good alternative for that and a good way to start out, but I highly, I would not suggest it um, if you're going to continue on YouTube. Like, I got my HD PVR, and I'm, I love the quality that I have now. Um, so that's where I started out, and then I started this channel in the hopes of getting a partnership because the partner partnerships go off of... Um, Average view lead, er, average days, bleh, average views daily. There, Jesus, couldn't talk there. Um, and it really just went off that. So my channel was too old. It was like my channel, Jables Eleven Ninety Five. It started in about twenty ten, I think, early twenty ten, and I created um, that just to like post videos every so often. But I really wanted to get involved in the community, involved in being in YouTube, and so I created this channel in hopes of being able to expand my my uh, future career accomplishments on YouTube so I could be like maybe get a partnership and all that and now the awesome part a week later I got a partnership from Vexon Games um, is and I've been a partner ever since and I am so grateful for that because it's just it's I'm meeting a lot of new people they're awesome people um, getting a lot of opportunities via Vexon Games so I thank them very much again I always will thank them um, because they're the ones that got me started with this, and I love them all to death for that, so thank you very much, guys. Um, and yeah, that basically brings me to where I am today, uh, just Call of Duty commentator, um, Minecraft player, YouTube, uh, YouTube hopeful, I guess, um, and just a regular day gamer, just like all you guys. So, um, yeah, that basically sums up my history here on YouTube, and now what I wanted to talk to you about on, um, as adversity on YouTube because there's a ton of adversity that you're gonna face if you wanna if you want to become a successful youtuber now granted you're not gonna be like oh my god he's just like this this troll 6399 dude he's just like oh you suck you suck you suck you suck every video and it's just like okay that is adversity yes um, but that's not really big adversity I guess I mean I it, on a personal standpoint, yes, it probably is a big, big level of uh, adversity because you do have that one asshole who just like keeps, keeps just ripping into you for no apparent reason, and I feel for you. I really do. If if that's what what happens, because I've I've had that happen to me before, and it's just it's just not fun whenever somebody is just a total douche on purpose to try and just ruin your your feelings or all that, and it's it's not fun. So, but what you gotta remember, if that does happen to you, is that you do have other viewers who love your content. There will always be somebody that likes your content. There will always be somebody that that you can always be like, "Hey, do you like this?" And they'll be like, "Oh yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. I'm, I'm gonna, I like that. I, I like those ideas. Those, that was a very good commentary or a very good gameplay, very good montage, whatever." Um, there will always be somebody there to the to help push you in a positive direction. Um, now, granted, at the same time, there will always be some assholes who are just be like, "Oh yeah, you suck. Just quit now." But that's how life, the how the world works. Um, there are always going to be those assholes. But the thing about that is, you just got to push through because it's your personal hobby, it's your interest. Fuck whatever they say. I mean, they they can't they can't change what you want to want what you want to be. They can't they can't be. You you can't. Well, let's just put it this way: you can't let someone else determine what you want to do. It's ultimately your life and ultimately your goals in which you want to accomplish. So why let anybody say different? Adversity is something that you're always going to get on YouTube. And I really hope that if you're watching this and you're facing these, that you don't you don't end up being like, oh, I'm just going to quit and all that. Because that's not that's not the point of it. And you, you shouldn't quit. So that's that's basically just been an edit in a nutshell. Um, I may continue that topic over into another match. But... Yeah, for now, this has been episode 7 of The Road to 2.0. I've been Equal Espresso, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Peace.